guys. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome, 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 welcome. I'm gonna take that out of the screen for a minute and I'm gonna put Laura's page at central and I'm going to talk you through what we're gonna get started with and welcome to the colour of fun that Vicky has scheduled in and it was an hour later for me today. Hey Michelle, <laughs> hi Bo, hi Vicky, April, Shannon, Bethan. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome, 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 welcome. Hi Bea Bright, hi KP, <laughs> Rachel Starbuck, all of you, Louise, Joanne, <laughs> God, there's so many, Pickle, <laughs> Suze, Connie, Connie, you're supposed to be on your little break. Hi mum, <laughs> again, <laughs> my mum's just left me, she's been here all morning. Hi Pamela, Pat, Jo, Taryn, Kat, uh, Sharon, Rain Chains, Mandy, oh my goodness, there's so many of you. <laughs> I'm never going to get all your names coming in. Okay, so as you can tell, this is the Victorian colour of fun. Hey, Jo, Beth, Candice, hi everyone. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> hi, Leah. Okay, so this is the Victorian colour of fun, and Laura Rafferty, I have got my like kind of Victorian-esque feel going on. And I'm gonna talk you through in a minute what I've done. Um, Laura has provided this image. I have put it in the uh, description of this. It's only free for a limited time. So it's only free until tonight. Hi, Karen and Laura and Sonia and everyone coming in. Hey! <laughs> Thank you. They're going to come off very shortly. I can tell I'm going to get really irritated. They're going to clang. Um, but I thought it'd just be in the spirit of, of Victorian, you know, how it is, and like a really over the top, wacky, diamondy thing that I've never worn. It come with a set, and you know, you've always got that one. Anyway, um, so that is where you can pick up the Victorian colouring page for free. But it is only for a very short time. Hey, Anna. <laughs> Hi, Tonjay. Is it Tonjay or Tonya? I don't want to say your name wrong. One or two. Um, so, if you don't get it today, you can also pick it up from Laura's Etsy store. So, you will purchase it after the time. Tonya. Is it that? Tonya. I don't want to say it wrong. It's because it's spelled, are you from Sweden? Or I know you're in the US, but just wondered. Thank you, Connie. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, everyone coming in, Katie. Everyone. Wow, there's so many of you already. Hi, Crafty K. So, yeah, I've had mum here all day. She's just got home in time. And mum, right, let me tell you the story. So, last night, Hi, Natalie and everyone coming. If I don't see you, I'm so sorry. And we are going to be doing the giveaway for the fairy celebrations in 10 minutes time. I'm just letting everyone come on in because um, it gives people a little bit of time. Hi, Pat. Hi, Cass. Uh, morning, everyone. Or good afternoon. Hi, Zeely. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh, my gosh, it's going so fast. Forgive me if I don't see your name. So I'm going to say a big blanket. Blanket. Hello. And um, thank you for being here. Okay, so this is a freebie. It is a Victorian girl. So to go coincide with this, if, if let me take that out of the way. That's just the schedule. If Laura comes in, let me know and I'll show her. Hi, Mary. Hi, Abby. Hi, Candice. Hi, Marcia, everyone. Okay, so I asked last night Laura the story behind this Victorian girl. And she said that she had her in mind with when she had her corset put on, it was too tight and she couldn't breathe. So I ran with that story and made this. It only took me half an hour and I had all these knickknacks. And let me talk you through it. So I got some gold leafing on it. Hey, Emily, I was in your stream, sweetheart. It's just I was lurking because I had my parents here. Um, but I watched and I watched and I watched. <laughs> uh, I just wasn't in the keyboard chat. So let me tell you what this is. I've given her this little trinket bottle. It took me half an hour, didn't it, Mum? Hey, Audrey. And I've just put some, like, lace and this little tiny Victorian miniatures. And I've filled it with, like, little trinkets of bows, of gold and stars. So it's just like a little 
knickknack. Hey Helen, hi Zoe, hi Mousy Dem, hi everyone. There is so many of you coming in. Right, so that was on there. And then I've given her a name and I hope that um, Laura doesn't mind. So her name is Lady Adelaide Gladstone. Hey Imogen, uh, she's 20 years old. She lives in London, England. Her occupation is a lady of leisure. Her marital status is married to Emerson Gladstone, who is a post-mortem photographer. So in the moment the picture was captured, Adelaide was having trouble breathing when her maid helped her dress in today's garments. Her corset was tied a fraction too tight and Adelaide needed a moment to take a deep breath in and out. She focused on the memory to help calm her of days with her friends having afternoon tea discussing the embroidery classes that she loved so deeply. So I've put like some lace for the embroidery and the little Victorian emblem. We've got another one here, all gold, like I've just put them, you know, like on the back. And um, then we've got a paper rose that I've also put distress inks on. We've got some gold leafing on the corner. We've got distress ink and then another sort of stamp and a bow. So I thought it went like that, just side by side. And I thought it just was so like cool. I really enjoyed my half an hour making that. Cute, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, everyone coming on in. I thought it was just, it was, mum, mum, back me up here. Um, my mum was here, half an hour it took me, right, sorting everything out, like getting everything on the table, it took me half an hour to make, kind of just ripped it, did the story, because she gave me a little bit of a story, and then um, I kind of just found all these bits that I have in my, you know, crafty, you know what I mean, I've got like a crafty bag of stuff, and I thought it just went, so, just when that's coloured, this will sort of be its companion. Um, so I thought it would be a nice little touch. And that, as I said, that's just a little bit of gold leaf. And um, they're called Victorian miniatures. I had them already. And yeah, I thought it was such a nice little thing to have to accompany our Victorian lady. Yeah, see, 20 odd minutes to make. It well, didn't take long at all. So if you ever have like a story behind a picture that you're coloring and you've got anything in your craft room or I haven't got a craft room but I've got a bag and I had loads of knickknacks in there and I found bits and you can put something together really quickly if you just have something in mind it was a random thought thought it would go really well with the Victorian feel of her page and I thought why not Okay, sorry, I was just having a sip. Right, so it is it's such a cool thing to do. So if Laura comes in, tell me. I really want to show her this. I thought it, she would might make her smile, you know, because it's her it's her story corset being tight, and she was thinking, and I put the rest of the story to it. So I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give it. To be fair to people, I'm going to say around the 20 past mark. So we're at the moment, we're at eight minutes past. By 20 minutes past, I will be doing a on-stream giveaway of the new Fairy Celebrations book. So don't go anywhere. I'm going to be letting people come on in. This was given by Melody as a giveaway, and I will chip in and stuff for wherever you are in the world. So keep with me. I will be giving this away in 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So bear with. For now, we're going to make a start. I am going to have that. Let me put that that side. Let's give her some film. Yep, so you've got a chance to win. So stay with me in 10 minutes time. Get away. I will tell you the rules very clearly. My mods are going to have to have great Hawk eyes because we're going to have a couple got to be fair no two numbers people put two numbers in sometimes no retracting your first number none of that you lurk away if you want to that's fine um so we're going to be doing this and i am going to be using black widow pencils for her hair and i'm also going to be using a black polychromo 
No, it wasn't. It wasn't. So, hi, you sing. If there's anything for me, I would appreciate it so much if you stuck it in capital letters because we've got a lot of people today and we've also got a very fast chat. So are you enjoying the Victorian theme so far? I think it's been great. I have been in today, but my parents have been here. So I've been looking and lurking and lurking. But I'm glad to say you've all done an amazing job with your pictures. Hey, Bob. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I'm using because I'm not doing this all on stream. This is just purely for today. It's also to give Laura, because I absolutely adore her, some more exposure. Please go support Laura. She's an amazing artist lady she's an amazing colorist she's a big contribution to the coloring community so if you haven't already I've put the link in the description for this if you have um, if you have already got it then great I'm not sure Zoe because I don't know if I'm going to do it all today and I've got other projects on the go but we'll see how we get on we'll see how we get on Okay, so I'm going to do the hair first of all, and are you all good for your lighting? Is it all bright on your screens? Do you need me to go a little bit brighter? Um, one second. I don't want to flash it out. Hi, Claire. So I'm going to go for a base, I think, and I think I'm going to go for dark tan. So I'm, I'm going to see how much we can get done today. As I said, in 10 minutes time, we're going to be doing the giveaway, so keep with me. And my mods, bless your heart, I never ask them to do anything for me, but they're going to have quite a task on their hands because we're going to have to do this very fairly and very vigilant. Okay, so we're going to do the dark tan. I think I'm going to start off with this area at the top here. And you know me, I always like to just stick a little base down and that just gives me something to work with when I'm doing my strands. I'm not at all, you know with the artists here they do it in different ways and it's just this works for me better so I'm going to just put a very light base down just to get rid of the white and I'm going to do one section at a time to start with so I hope you're all enjoying yourselves I've been loving all the Victorian feel and I've been loving everyone doing their little extras like Emily had the music uh, Connie had her lace gloves and I've just been loving the whole theme that everyone's been going with they're really making the most of it. The lace, the music, the trim, the jewels. It's been so much fun. Um, this one is dark tan. Dark tan. Do you want me to go and get the cards? Because I'm not going to be doing this whole thing on stream. This is just today only. So if I don't, whatever I get done today, hopefully I'll finish the rest of stream for the weekend. If you want me to get them, I'll grab them right this minute. If not, I've just shout them out. So it's dark tan. Uh, yeah, I do. Um, it's Coloured Pencil Shop. I'll put the links in. Okay. Next one is Brown Bug. This is from the Scorpion set. And I'm not going to go too heavy with this. I'm just going to very lightly bring... Because this is quite red. It's got a red feel, red vibe, like a mahogany. So I'm just going to start to bring some of those strands out. But we're going to go deeper with um, the browns. I'm just kind of planning out where I want to go now. So, yeah, Coloured Pencil Shop. I have another one, um, but I'm not quite sure if they're in stock anymore. Claire's here as well. She's really good with knowing these things with um, the shops and the stores. It's a shame because Colt Pens is one of my favourite shops and they're the only pencil that they don't stock. And it would be amazing if they did because it's they would they just are amazing. Their service, everything about them. Um, so yeah, that's that is what I've been up to. I've been making a story to match Laura's little story. And um, that's my crafty morning with mum this morning. <laughs> I had a really good time doing that. So it's just a very light touch to start with. And you know me, hair is one of my favourite things to do. I also really like to plan out where I want the strands and the strokes to go. That's just my way. So it's just the starting point. And as I said, if there's anything aimed at me, anything that you want to say to me, please pop it in caps. 
Oh, I've been reading some cool Victorian things. Um, so I'm going to read them to you as well. It's been so cool. I've been looking at all these bits. Okay. So I found out some really cool facts yesterday. There we go. Looking one second. Okay. So the Victorians, I was looking up quite a few things on them. Hi, everyone coming on in. Hi, Mandy. <laughs> they are quite serious about the whole morbid death topic. So that is why I made her husband a post-mortem photographer. So, <laughs> oh, thanks, Helen. Yeah, I do like them. Um, so women often wore a mourning ring. This is why I put this on, because I am channeling Lady Adelaide for the husband. So they usually wore a mourning ring, but they were jet black. Can you see? We put the jet black little emblem at the top. That's her husband. Um, they were hired to stand uh, at a bachelor's grave site, usually blonde, to try to just cry inconsolably so that they seemed adored if there was someone that had died that hadn't got any family. So they'd hire a lady, usually a blonde lady, to just cry at the top of their lungs uncontrollably at the graveside. <laughs> it's so funny. I mean, I did. Well, right. What? Um, the thought from Laura is that she had trouble breathing because she was putting on her corset. So I thought, let me run with that. So she became Lady Adelaide that lives in London, England. And she's a lady of leisure and her marital status, she's married to Emerson Gladstone. And he is a post-mortem photographer. I thought it was just something really, really cool. And I was just reading a lot about them. Taxidermy was a huge thing also in the Victorian era and there was a huge amount of people that was doing it and they collected many pieces and Walter Potter was a notable man who would create taxidermy such as kittens having a tea party so much. Victorians wore a lot of black and she is going to be in black because the pollution was mainly from coal and it was like a smog so if they had a lot of smog they wore black so that they didn't show it up because they often had a lot of greyish tinge to their clothing. If they wore black, they would never be able to see it. So that was a really cool touch. So she's going to be in black. Freak shows were also a huge thing in the Victorian era and they used to go to them. So they were as accessible as like us going to the movies. I thought that was another cool thing. There's so many things I was reading on the Victorian era. OK, a couple of minutes, guys, and we'll be doing the giveaway. Let's get those thumbs up. Let's get the thumbs up a little bit more and then we'll we'll get the um, giveaway going. When someone passed, the family would have a photograph taken of the body. Sometimes the family would even pose with the body to make it look alive. I mean, these things are just insane. They're so good. I love them. <laughs> and um, yeah, there's so many facts. Okay. So the next one I'm going to pick up is the dark chocolate. We're going to get those strands going. And now we're going to go deeper and I want them quite brown. So we're going to start to introduce that. Now I am using Strathmore's coloured pencil paper, which I really, really was so eager to try. And we're just going to go slowly. I'm going to do one section and see how that comes out. Let's get those thumbs up. <laughs> Okay, gothic novels were also a huge thing. So as I said, they were an era where they liked the dark, the grim, the morbid topics, the death part, the elements, the freak shows. They liked it all. So some of the best stuff were written in that era. And Edgar Allan Poe and Dracula were around the time of the Victorian era. Flossie, I've just taken another lot of pills before I come on stream. So I am good. <laughs> Um, I'm fine if I take medication, sweetheart. Thanks for asking. <laughs> but, yeah, we won't go down that today. Um, yeah, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. I hope you are too. Okay, so I'm just going to get this colour down first, and then we're going to do that giveaway. Okay. Also, ladies, they would not wear a skirt that showed their ankles. And that was because their modesty. They were made to hide 
the, the dresses were made to hide women's ankles, otherwise she would be exposed and considered too racy. Ankles, ankles. <laughs> There's so many cool facts. I know, so good. I thought I had to write them down. I was like, I have to do this. Um, I was reading so many things and I was having a good giggle to myself last night and I thought I've got to share this for you guys because it's the Victorian era and we're doing the Victorian colour of fun. We've got Lady Adelaide Gladstone with us so in her honour we have to talk about it. It's not going to be a long section but you know we have to just mention it. Hey Lozzie. Okay also corsets they were worn they cannot be worn today. I mean, they're just too tight. Their corsets would clinch their waist so tight, they were around 16 inches mark. So nearly every fit, fit that's why she's so, like, uncomfortable and can't breathe. Um, the 16 inches was a thing with their corsets. They had to clench them so tight they couldn't breathe. It was nearly impossible. So the ladies of the houses, so you've got the ladies and the lords, the ladies would have someone have to do it for them because it was so tight and they really couldn't breathe. They couldn't move. It was just fashion at, to me. At, it's most uncomfortable. I mean, we're so lucky with our leggings and slacks now, but they didn't have that then. I know, ankles are considered way too sexy. <laughs> All right, let's stop for a second. We have just done the colour dark chocolate we're going to come back in a minute let's do the giveaway guys are you ready you're going to listen to the rules very clear so that we haven't got anyone that's um upset let's zoom out right so we are giving away courtesy of melody i will do the postage um this is international rules 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 if anyone wants to type them in if bethan or honor if you would type them in after i say them that would be amazing so one entry per person or per couple, because I know there's some some couples that are here. So one entry for the couple only, one entry per person. It will be between, let me get a piece of paper. I know she's just, she's amazing, isn't she? One number between one and 150. That is the number count between 1 and 150. You did make it in time. We're just going to be doing it. <laughs> okay. You have to wait until I type go. Please don't talk whilst numbers are going. It's an international giveaway, meaning anywhere in the world. Anywhere you are, you can enter. It's not just the UK. It's anywhere in the world. If there's a double number and you've typed two in, you're disqualified. I'm not going to go with your first one because it's one number. Also, please, please. Oh, you're typing it in. Thank you. Please also um, make sure that you. I've lost my train of thought. Between 1 and 150, one entry per person, international giveaway. One second. I've lost my train of thought. Where have I gone? This is where you take tablets. Type go anywhere in the world. Thank you. <laughs> Start talking while the numbers are. That's it. And also, there was one other thing. Um, yeah, don't type a number twice. That's all. <laughs> don't type a number twice. And also, it's the first person nearest to without going over. That's what I was going to say. So if someone else has the same number as you, it will be the first person. Also, that was what I wanted to say because people always ask me about this. I have to go by my screen and three or two people confirming it. Because don't forget, YouTube will prioritize you. So if you and somebody else type it at the same time, it might show it on your screen as you because YouTube's prioritizing you. You pick any number between 1 and 150 once. Don't retract your number because it won't count. Right, are we ready? Wait till I type. Just type it in here. When I type go, I'll give you two minutes. And then when I press stop, no more after stop will be counted. Okay. On your marks. Wait till I say go. Get set. <laughs> go. Go. 
I love this bit. It's like <laughs> keep going. You got a couple of minutes. Couple of minutes. Couple of minutes. One number. One and one fifty. Good luck, everyone. Get them in. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. As I said, it will be the first person who gets nearest to the number that is generated. First person, and I will be confirmed by three people, so two mods and one other. If I get three confirmations, it will be that person. I will post it out next week. One entry only, one. Stephanie, one entry, otherwise you're disqualified. One only. Anyone that types in more than one is disqualified. I did make that clear. I don't want any disqualifications, but it's fair. So one more minute. If you've not got your numbers in, get them in. I'm going to just one more. Yeah, less than a minute now. Stephanie, no more. It's disqualified now. If you're a language barrier, it was written in the rules above. It was very clear. Yeah, that's what I said. There's a language barrier. One number. It's only fair. Right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. No entries now will be counted. I am going to get my number generator. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> I love, 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 love when people win something. It makes me so happy. Okay. So we're going to go to um, the number generator, random.org. I'm going to turn my lighting down. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Right, are we ready? So we're going to do between 1 and 150. Right, are we ready? Good luck, guys. Good luck. I'm rooting for you all. <laughs> So we're going to generate, right, number 87. So it's the first person who is either with the number or nearest to it. Let's scroll up. So I'm going to have to go by two mods and another person's confirmation. Good luck, everyone. So it's the first person. Please do not talk at this point because otherwise our mods lose their place. So 87. 87. That's where are we? Let's keep going. If anyone is near it or on it, we've got to just... Take your time with it. It's no one can go over one nearest to. And it's the first person. At the moment, I have Joy at 87. But let me just check. Is it Joy? Do you think it's Joy? Joy, are we all right? Joy got 87. Is she the first person? Can we double check? So remember to be in live chat, guys, not top chat. So in my eyes, I think it is. Um, I'm just double checking myself. Yep, I'm seeing Joy. Joy, sweetheart, you have won. Will you email me? <laughs> Hi, Anana. And chat with Sammy. Out. What a prize, eh? What a prize. Outlook. Can I chat with Sammy? Uh, let me just go back. Oh no, what a prize to win. I'd be jumping out of my chair. <laughs> Colour and chat with Sammy at Outlook.com. Okay. Email me, please, and let me know where I'm sending your prize to. So, congratulations, Joy. 
um, if one. Happy today, Nana. <laughs> okay, should we go back to it? Is Joy still here? Joy, are you still here? Okay, so let's get back to Lady Adelaide. There we go. Thank you so much for those that did just join for the giveaway. We do do them monthly most of the time. So for the next one, good luck for that. And congratulations to Joy for now. She is still here. I don't know if she's gone. <laughs> but I hope you're sticking around for this next part. And as I said, if you want this image, it is free until tonight. So you have a chance to colour this image for absolutely nothing. And that is a it is just amazing. Okay, so we have so far put dark tan, brown bark, and dark chocolate. So, ah, oh, Joy, you're welcome. It is an amazing book. I'm so happy you're in tears of joy. <laughs> Email me, sweetheart, and I'll get that sent out to you in the week. Ah, <laughs> oh. okay. So this is, I think, um, this was when I got my Black Widows and they had no name, but I think it's Tarantula. Um, so this is a real nice, deep, chocolatey brown. And you'll start to see the difference. We're going to come back and build up in the contrast. It builds up like a really nice chocolate, deep brown. But you have to keep going. Um, so this middle bit won't be white at all. Remember, we come back to that. Uh, we're just doing one section at a time. I probably won't do all of the hair on stream. I'll try and do some sections so you know exactly what I'm doing. And then we'll move on and try and do some skin and try and get a bit of everything done today um, so that you can see, you know, the process of it all. I am using the Black Widows. I am using the Black Widows. <laughs> um, this I've done myself. So the text company in it is something I've just made today. So if anyone has not joined um, at the beginning, I made this to go with the image and it tells the story of the picture. So I've named her, I've made her Lady Adelaide Gladstone and I've made her a lady of leisure who's from London and she's 20 years old. Thank you, Mary. So we're just going to build it up and we're going to get these um, nice, deep, rich brown texture going so that we've got a nice colour. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you ever so much for that. Oh, say thank you, everyone. Isn't that so sweet? Let's give her a huge thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Laura Rafferty is the artist of this one and in my description of this video you will find her link to both her Etsy store and this image for free. Yes, give her a lot of hearts. Thank you so much. I'm throwing a lot of hearts your way. Okay, can you see now we're starting to build it up. If you go over the lines it doesn't matter because you're going to come back. Um, but she's, oh, she's going to have a really awesome colour. Yeah, so much. Let me just, I have to do this. Sorry, one second, everyone. This is for you. There you go. That's hearts to you. You're so lovely. Thank you so much. And Joy, you're welcome. I'm glad you came. You had a good day. <laughs> you had it. I love to make a smile. Oh, my gosh. I'm smiling for you. Okay. So this is Tarantula, I believe, um, in the Black Widow's set. So just keep going with hair. You know, hair's one of those things. It's very, very individual to how you like to colour it. I like to do strands and build up. Some people like to block colour more and do a few strands. I've just always done it this way and just prefer to. Uh -huh, yeah, it's Sean. I know exactly. You've had a bit. Well, look, we'll get you off to a better month already, won't we? And we'll get you off to a better one. Okay, so can you see already? It's starting to really build up a colour. Now, when it comes to the middle, 
Um, I'm going to bring in, this is another Black Widow, and I'm pretty sure, let me tell you the colours, because uh, I've got them written down. Because um, I had to sort of transfer it all over, um, because I didn't have the set that, unfortunately, it came in the numbers. I think this one is Toadstool or Foxy Brown. I think it's Toadstool. Okay, so I'm going to just add that into the middle, and that's going to be more of my highlight colour, right? So again, this is colour pencil paper, it's got a little bit of tooth, this is by Strathmore, it's so, so good, so good, I'm loving it, it's like a, it's got some tooth and it's it's really loving, it's made specifically for coloured pencils, um, it's by Strathmore as I said, and you can look it up, it's called coloured pencil paper, I think it's amazing. Okay, so I'm going to come on back to um brown bug and just put a little tiny bit more of the red tone in her hair and i'm just gonna allow those strands to kind of come down so just allow it to sort of flow you see bring it in and um you know just bring a little bit more of a red tone so if i do it that way you can see already right it's got a nice sort of feel to it and as i said Lady Adelaide deserves a story. I, I think it just, it went with her. And I really hope, if not, I'll have to send uh, Laura a post. But, yep. Yeah, and then I'm going to go over to um, Foxy Brown. And this is from, all of them are from the Black Widow sets. I'm not doing anything that's not. Um, we need a dark, deep, chocolatey type of colour yeah. now. And that's going to be in the skin tone set. So you all having a good day? Are you all good? I like to hear that everyone's doing good, well, and dandy. Oh, really? I love it. It's, I only came across it today and I said to mum, it's perfect. Perfect. Okay. So just one last colour we're going to add in is going to be mud. And this is in tone series. And this is just going to deepen up. Now, don't worry about going on any part of her hair because you're going to colour that in anyway. So you can be a little bit more slack in terms of going over the lines slightly because um, you are going to colour that in exactly the same fashion. And yeah, I'm really hoping everyone is well. I'm so happy to be here. Me too. I've been in them all day. Really, Kenny, I'm loving it. Thank you so much, Bethan. You're a sweetie. Thank you so much. I first time I'm using it, Kenny, and I'm I'm thinking it's probably going to be my new favourite. To be fair, okay. So you can see if I do that, you can see the different textures in her hair, the different tones, and I'm going to keep it similar to that. I'm just going to add a little bit of back, um, but I like that tone in the middle where it's gone a little bit lighter and she's got some red hints. I think it goes with it, and again, I'm going to do quite a loose background with her as well. So she's going to have black because she's from London and they wore black. And they wore black because of the soot and the coal. They just got filthy. So we're going to go back to a couple more of the Victorian facts. Okay. So when women paid calls to someone, so they went to someone's home to tell them something or to have a chat, it was done in the afternoon. If it was done any sooner, it was classed as bad manners. You wouldn't stay for long. And if someone else would come whilst you were there, you would exit gracefully. There's another little fact. These are pretty cool, aren't they? <laughs> so I'm just going to add some black. This is just a polychromo black. Um, and then, oh, where's my brush gone? Okay. So this is just like, just to add a little bit of depth into my darkest areas only, just to kind of make it stand out. Nothing more, nothing less. It's not going to add too much it just does add an element if you do mess up at any point do not worry you can always erase and it's very forgiving on that so just like erase the little bits that you may have missed or may have gone over or this paper is very forgiving I'm finding that now it's just grabbing really beautifully so we're going to go into this bit after so oops just make sure I've got no Sorry about this for a second. Make sure I've got no um, pencil marks. Hiya! One of my fave pencils. Really hard. Yes, 
It's so nice, Nanny. You're going to love it. For your PDFs, honestly, this is probably the best one now, apart from my card. I love my card, but this for the colour pencils. Um, Favourite pencils are Paul, um, a mixture between Polly's and prismas i'd say okay, i think i'm going to leave that for the moment and i'm going to come down to this part i'm going to have to turn my page i know it's really irritating to people but i'm going to have to so i'm just going to come to this section here and we're going to go straight for the dark tan again and that's just to um give it a base coat okay next thing The Victorian era obviously was ruled by Queen Victoria. I found out yesterday, and probably most of you know this, when she lost her husband, Albert, she only wore black until she died. She went into a complete mourning for the rest of her life. And she always looked pretty grim and pretty glum. And it's like a glum feel that she carried around for her entire life once she lost the love of her life, which is a tragic love story. Um, so when you see her photo, normally wearing black and she's normally wearing a very unhappy sad very deep rooted expression uh, that's okay joy I will look at it later and as I said I'll let you know um when I sent it I'll send you the details and proof of postage sweetheart so yeah so that was a tragic love story I was so sad for her I was yeah sad Okay. Victorian children were expected to work long hours for less money than adults. Seems unfair, right? To make matters worse, the jobs were often dangerous and conditions were extremely hard. Children were favoured because they could fit into spaces that adults couldn't. Therefore, many children worked in factories, coal mines, and in chimney sweepers. Poor kids! How are you looking, see? <laughs> Poor kids. I'm, I feel feel really bad for them. <laughs> that is so sad. Our kids have got it so easy and these poor children are out there slugging their guts out. Okay, so again, brown bug, brown bug. So I'm going to have to turn again, turn again, turn again. I'm going to be on the side for a second. It looks like she's coming out of the page, doesn't it? Um, so we're going to bring some of this colour up and Give me, a, oh, I don't know, about an hour or so and I will link everything in the description. At the moment, you've already got the link for the image and Laura's store. So Laura Rafferty, she is a huge part of our colouring community and live stream. She's also part of this colour font and she has made this image specifically for us to enjoy for free until tonight. After that, it will still be available in her Etsy shop. So I would grab it very quickly, download it and save it so you can enjoy it as that is why she has done it. So you can all enjoy it for the colour of fun. Take care, Sue. Thanks for coming, sweetie. Okay, next fact. Uh, before the Victorian era, most of Britain's population couldn't read or write and had limited access to education. Queen Victoria believed that education should be for all. By the end of her reign, going to school became compulsory for children, rich or poor. So prior to Victoria, it was only for the rich. So if you were poor, you had no education and you were just put into very physical jobs without it. So she really did something good for everybody. It is a beautiful picture, isn't it? I'm totally in love with it. So if you want me to read, if you're coming in later, I will read the story of Adelaide Gladstone if you want. And I've made this up before the stream. Me and mum had a crafty afternoon and um, I sat here just quickly making this while she was sitting beside me sorting through all the like miniature buttons and bows and stuff. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just going round and round. I'm going to stop there for a second. I'm just going to focus on the top bar. I'm also going to bring some of that brown bug. This is brown bug, and it's like a red colour. It's a great image. Hey, Bunny! <laughs> it's a great image, isn't it? So if you are into the Victorian era, there are many books as well. You've got Alina Lazareva's got a Victorian book. Um, there's 
Circle Portraits has got some really cool steampunk books. You've got uh, steampunk images and a Victorian image, which is by Laura Rafferty. You've got the Hannah Lynn, both the steampunk and the Victorian books. There's so many, so, so many. Yes, Nana, I don't, I don't know if you saw it. You probably didn't. You were busy. I gave you a huge shout out the other day. It was yours and Helly's birthday on the same day, and I wished you a huge happy birthday on stream, and I hope that you will have an amazing day, and I hope that you were sport rotten and you felt really loved. So happy belated birthday for the other day. We, we all gave it to you. When was it, guys? Was it Tuesday? Yeah. Dark chocolate. And Tuesday, we all gave you a huge happy birthday, along with Miss Helly, because Helly was also sharing the same birthday with you we both had your birthdays on the same day <laughs> that's both of you and i was like oh happy birthday if you came in then i really wanted to wish you but you were having a good time <laughs> yeah we gave you a huge shout out that day i was like i hope your ears are burning because then you'll know that we were all thinking about you didn't we guys we gave Nana and Helly okay so we're just bringing in the dark chocolate um we're gonna have to make sure that this part comes quite deep so to join that part up you know here so just keep working on that so that it doesn't separate and you've got a nice um it sort of joins up you don't have a huge separation yeah, oh no, no, you deserve it, you deserve it. What's one of your favourite things recently that you've got anything dragonish? <laughs> I know you love your dragons, you and Connie. Okay, so we go for the next thing. Okay, this is quite, this, this is their sort of facts that make you go, oh goodness, okay. People were legitimately afraid of their dead loved ones coming back as zombies or vampires. Chip, baby. Um, bodies would sometimes be buried face down to prevent this. If the dead supposedly awoke and started digging, they would only dig themselves further into the earth if they were face down. So if the family had little more money to spare, they built the metal cage over the grave to keep the living dead from escaping so they did this this is what they did to their graves so that their dead would never awake <laughs> it's so cool right so this is all the facts that i was just like oh gosh okay bodies in victorian cemeteries were frequently disturbed dismembered and destroyed this was done by greedy grave diggers as a way to make room for new bodies it was pretty common that you would find bones and rotting body parts scattered around graveyards as a result of careless, callous grave diggers. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, they had all these really bizarre sort of beliefs around death, right? And that's probably where all the Gothic novels originated from because they had these beliefs. And a lot of them were just based around death and based around those kind of experiences with going to cemeteries and with the ladies that used to just mourn a stranger because they were paid to do it. I mean, that's just funny. Ah, oh, thank you. You're welcome. So that's quite a cool fact. There's quite a few. We've got a couple. We'll break them down. And I, I was really, I was having a good giggle to myself last night in half of these yeah if you weren't here on tuesday you're welcome to do big belated birthdays to nana and helly and wish them many happy returns you've got an awesome tattoo <laughs> of course you can lozzy go for it i love this sort of thing if you've got any contributions go for it Please. Okay, I need to sharpen that a little bit. Go for it.
<laughs> you need coffee. <laughs> I've got two. I've got two. How did you find your first tattoo, Nana? I've got two. I wouldn't get any more, though, um, just because I regretted my second one, but I love my first one because my mum chose it. Um, but, yeah, I've got two. I've got one on my back and one on my leg. The, the lounge chairs came from that era that they called them fainting couches or sofas. That's so, so good. You're going to get two more. <laughs> Yeah, go for it, Lozzie. Lozzie's got a Queen Victoria fact to share. I'll read it out when it comes up. Okay, so I'm going to try and I'm going to stop on this part here because I've got to turn the page to come down here. So I'm just kind of just doing strokes upon strokes and we'll focus on this area in a second. Victorians do love opioids. Below the neck at the side or below the neck at the back? Or like under the hairline? Are they all going to be dragon related or family or something meaningful? Because you've been on quite a journey. Okay, so I'm just going in. Nice strokes. Okay. Oh, nice. Like it. Yeah, of course. I thought you might have something because you're very, very close to your family, of course. Nice. I'm so happy. It's, it's special, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to go for Tarantula. And... We're going to wait for Lozzie to find her fact and then we will go. Chip, did you hear that? He snored. I get, I'll quickly do another one while we're waiting. So health professionals in the Victorian era were constantly innovating and suggesting new ways to fight illnesses. In 1875, one recommendation was to cover oneself in sheets of newspaper to provide in a warm and comfortable night's sleep while reducing the onset of pneumonia. So whereas we grab a blanket, they used to put themselves in newspaper because the health professionals believed that you would fight pneumonia if you covered yourself in newspapers. <laughs> oh, did you? I'm so sorry. I missed it. Let me go up, up. Where is it? It didn't come through. Lozzie, it didn't come through, hon. I don't know why. Unless I've missed it, but I'm just, I've scrolled right up. Would you be able to repost it? Thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can't see it. Am I missing it? I've just scrolled up and it's not showing on my screen. I'm okay, Nick and T. How are you doing? No, we can't see it, Lozzie. I think it didn't. If it was anything over 200 characters, it would have declined it. Are you welcome? I'm having fun telling you them because I find them fascinating. Yeah, sorry, Lozzie. YouTube can be a little bit of a temperamental one. <laughs> okay, many Victorians were specialised in collecting objects from zoological and botanical to geological and archaeological. Oh my gosh, the words. Archaeological. <laughs> People devoted cabinets and spaces for their prized collections, which would often take up entire rooms in their home. During the era, Many towns and villages have curiosity shops, and that's where we see them in lots of the books. They have the curiosity shops in there. I uh, hope you're okay, Tammy. Keep yourself well and safe and healthy, and thank you for popping in. Pop in and out when you can, but you keep yourself safe. Okay, so we're doing tarantula at the moment. So there was a lot of avid collectors of the weird and wonderful so the curiosity shops were a huge thing in the victorian era and if you have um 
Chris Price's books. He has got the sweet shop, the vintage sweet shop one, and he's also got the curiosity shop. And the curiosity shop is highly, highly based on the curiosity shops that the Victorians used to have in their high street. Okay, so I'm just going to this part, okay, and then we'll do this bit and then we'll do some on her skin, I think, because otherwise I'm just going to be doing hair. So I'm going to keep it a little bit more of a, we'll get a base down on her skin, I think. Alright, so I've got to come down to that bit. Chip, you don't need to bark at every person that walks past, sweet. Not at all. Okay. Right. So that is a nice colour that's come along. I know they're so cool. I, things like that are really fascinating because we don't have them anymore. Yes, I did find that out. Queen Victoria had a granddaughter, Alexandra, who she raised as her own daughter. I think I read that somewhere when I read about the history of women. I'm going for mud. This is mud. Um, she was a good lady, and I think that's probably what might have triggered her to um, make sure that everybody had an education and not just the rich and the leisure, you know, people of leisure, the lords and ladies. Um, so it probably triggered that for her because she looked after Alexandra. I just got that part about Queen Victoria and Alexandria, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, again, I'm just putting in the um, mud. This one's mud. This one is in the skin tone set. And they're really nice, but I don't always use them for skin tones. I use them for both hair, skin, and also nature. They're a good set for nature. Okay, so you know this middle bit here? I'm going to reapply of the, uh, where is it, dark tan into the highlights. So you can always come back in and you can layer up. It's your picture. And I find that if you layer up, you can also get a really nice um, contrast on your lights and darks. You know, you can sort of separate it all. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm looking so forward to it. And don't forget, we've got the uh, arrange yet. The location but we've got the coloring heaven 11 scenes from 11 till 1 okay and coming back to the brown bug just to put some more red and that's just so everyone can feel comfortable with each other before so I've asked Claire and Kim if they would help out on the organization of that and the both of them bless their hearts have helped so I'm just gonna secure a location me and the girls and yeah we should find something and we're gonna go for black now so everyone's welcome to that. It's just so that you can, you know, go into the event where you got comfortable with people beforehand and you've kind of had a chat and sat down. and Because otherwise <laughs> you won't have time to do that at the event because we're straight into a class. So it would be really cool to do something to get everybody familiar beforehand. Yeah, same. 11, I think, my, my train lands in. Okay, so with this part behind the ER... Yeah, everyone's welcome, everybody. So hopefully, um, you know, it'll get everyone talking and comfortable, etc. No bad feeling or, you know, and no nervous feeling because I know quite a few people get anxious because of meeting new people. And it'll just be nice. It will relax, I think, relax everybody and get to know people properly rather than over the keyboard. <laughs> okay. So I'm just putting black. Now, can you see Miss Adelaide has got this um, really nice, I haven't done this part here just yet. Um, oh, how nice. This She's got this lovely tone in her hair of like reds and browns and a tiny bit of a hint of like a, a tan light, con, light sort of light colour. Yeah, so really liking it. Okay, so this part, I'm just going to come this tiny little bit. I'm just going to put my brown bug. I'm going to do this bit very quickly. And then we're going to get on to doing some of her skin. Yes, 
Anyone that knows about that, please share it. Joanna Basford is doing an online free class of a series of live streams in October, uh, which is coinciding with the release of her drawing, the, the inky drawings that she's doing. Um, I've got brown bug. So she's invited totally free. You have to have Facebook though. And then you don't have to be on the actual live streams. It'll be there to catch up with, but you do need to have Facebook. And I know that people who aren't on Facebook, they're just rejoining to do the event. Now, I will very, very, very soon be posting up all about that and making a short video with all the links and all the information that you need to know. Um, so I will be putting up all the information very shortly. I have it all written down. Um, so that will coincide with her Inky Wonderland that she's got coming out. Thank you, Beth. Is it Beth? Do you mind me saying Beth or do you prefer Beth Ann? I'll always go with what you prefer. Um, okay, so we're going to go for dark chocolate. Let's just do this little. I don't want to worry too much about this tiny little bit here i am too bunny i am too i've written everything down as i said i'll release the video very shortly as i'm sure claire will as well claire's the go-to person face it she's great at reviews i'm more just the color inside claire does it all she does the reviews amazing so claire will no doubt be posting a full thing about everything to do with joanna basford's new book because she loves her and she met her. <laughs> so, yeah, Claire will be the one for sure. Oh, how lovely. I like things like that. Thank you, Joy. <laughs> no, but I know some people are just joining for that. Lozzie, of course we're going to. Of course we're going to. That's why we're having the colour in 11, 11Zs. Of course, we're going to look after her. Hey, Jude. <laughs> Sorry if I say hello earlier. I'm just seeing people now because it gets very, 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 very quick. Okay, tarantula. Look, ladies, you're with friends. We got you. How I am, I genuinely say this. How I am here with you all is how I am in person. So if you're comfortable with me here, you'll be comfortable and I'll make you feel, I'll make you smile, make it my my thing to make you all smile. You'll hear me before you see me. <laughs> You'll hear the hi-yas. <laughs> I have, I have. Okay, um, this is back to the dark tanny colour. And then I'm going to get my black and my mud. So mud next. Uh, just make it deep, nice, thick colour. This part will just kind of go a bit more solid because it's the edge. You can have a little bit going off it. And then the black, I just got to turn it. That's why I'm not going to do a colour along for October, guys, because I want to catch up with stuff on the channel. And I also got that thing as well. So... I'm not going to use too much, otherwise I don't. Uh, one thing will suffer, so it's best not to. Right, so see how lovely and deep that colour is. That just suits her so much. Um, of of course, Lozzie. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know me too well. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get some base down on this okay so I'm going to go for some loomies for the moment just to get base down um hmm let's go for this is luminance um, and I'm going to go for the Burnt Sienna 50% 866 just to put in some shadows and plan where I want that to go. How long we got, guys? Got an hour. Right. So first off, I'm just going to sort of map out where I want that to go. And we'll go back to some Victorian facts. These ones are quite bizarre. Okay. So let's just plant in. 
some um, shade in, just very lightly so I know where I'm going with it. So she, her nose has a slight shadow here, so we're going to roll very lightly with that. And she's got some on the bridge of her nose, just a tiny amount, so we're just planning where we want these colours to kind of go. And we're going to layer up because we want to uh, take our time with this. So sort of around here, just plan. Thank you. Are you doing one from Day Juice? Has anybody um, has anybody got anything else on the go other than the colour colour and pages for the Victorian theme, or you will focus in on Victorian this weekend? Because it's always quite inspiring to go with a theme if that's what's going on, or if you've got something else that you colour in this weekend. Let me know. I love to know. I'm nosy. I'm nosy like that. I'm hot. I'm well. Most of the way through my dinosaur. Okay, just got a bit to go and then the background. So I'm going to do her in black because um, she's from London and the smog. So she's going to be wearing black. And plus, they did wear a lot of black. Oh, Benny Klein. Nice. <laughs> Jewelry box. I really like that. Your prison break. I um I love that show, but which one are you doing then? To Molly Harrison full picture, nice. Four is in the air, so I think it's nice to do something. Okay, so I'm going to kind of plan where I want that to go. I'm just going to get another. Oh, nice! You're doing Dee Dee's one. I know, same here. <laughs> same here. I'm terrible with having things on the go now. Okay, let's just quickly see. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I'm just trying to plan out where I want my colours to deepen. Okay. So I'm going to go for a deepening here. So I'm just going to bring that down sort of there. So this is, um, as I said, number 866 in the Lumis. This just gives me a little bit of a a thing to work with pumpkin page oh I'll show you because you're here um so I have been doing a bit of practice so part two is coming up shortly so you know we did these on stream I've been also doing so can you see that I've done a second one with slightly different colors and I'm going to be doing this one as well so we're going to do part two of that I'm also doing um the radishes up the top that's in watercolor pencils I'm also doing this I've not quite finished I'm doing all of these for you the acorn etc and we'll do part two so I am in the planning of it all for you guys so I promised you that I'm going to do that and we've also got the wolf girl to finish off on the next stream um so yeah and we've got the Halloween elements coming as well there's quite a lot on the horizon for the channel rather than Instagram I'm going to take a month off Instagram next month I'll pop on and off but I won't be on there much um I'm going to focus more on YouTube next month and the event so I have to give myself a bit of leeway on one thing so that I can focus on another <laughs> all right no, no that's funny Lozzy <laughs> oh my goodness oh thank you yep Thank you, Beth. You're, bless your hearts. You're all amazing. Thank you, Honor. You're a sweetheart. I love you. Okay, so I'm just planning that out, right? So we got that coming down. And she's going to have a deeper shadow coming under her chin. So just, you can be a little bit more, you know, just plan your shadows, guys. Plan your shadows. Don't, don't be afraid to. So they'll have a darker part under the neck, right, and at the back of her neck. So, yep, you can you can have a go with it all. Take care, Rachel. Thank you for coming in. Have a good day. Have a good day. Right. So, shall we start? Shall we start on sections? <clears throat> okay. So next, I'm going to pick out another Lumi. I might mix in some of the Black Widow skin tone. 
So these are the Black Widow skin tone sets, and as you know, they've got like a different end. Um, so we could try, I suppose we could try. Um, maybe we could try a couple of these tones, right? Why not? Why not? See, I don't like the light skin tone sets at all. Let's try some of this. Hey, Vicky. Oh, bye. Hey, look. So those of you that are popping in, can, sorry to, I'm going to repeat myself. I'm going to repeat myself. I want to show those popping in the story behind this. So Laura Rafferty, if you haven't seen this, in my description, Laura Rafferty has got this up for freebie today. This is the little tiny story I've made to come inside this morning and it's got all these little Victorian knickknacks I've done some gold leaf in this is the emblem of death so that it goes with her husband who's a post-mortem photographer she's got paper heart she's got a bit of gold and to represent her embroidery class she's got some lace so this lady is called Lady Adelaide Gladstone she is 20 years old and she is a lady of leisure her marital status is that she is married to Emerson Gladstone and her occupation is a post-mortem photographer. So in the moment the picture was captured, Adelaide was having trouble breathing when her maid helped her dress in, ladies gar in today's garments. Her corset was tied a fraction too tight and Adelaide needed a moment to take a deep breath in and out. She focused on a memory to help calm her of days with her friends having afternoon tea discussing the embroidery classes she loves so deeply. I made that to coincide with that. So sorry for repeating myself, but I'm just telling those that are coming in. I was so proud of that. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to try something because I'm, it's a new paper to me and these I have to get used to. This is the skin tone set and this is from the light set and this is called Merc. Right, so I'm just going to kind of blend out some of this. I think the layering is going to be really good on this paper. Um, so we're going to go for Merc. I'll send you the pictures after, Ray. Did you have a good night? I'll send you the pictures. So I've just put in some shadows only, and we're going to work on top of that. So don't worry too much about blending and shading at this point just get your colors down and we'll start to layer up so i'm not going on a heavy pressure i'm just going quite light and i'm really going to have to focus on where i want her light area which will probably be about there so i'm just going to blend out the edges first and work with it who's on after me um so we've got another 45 minutes um tonya tonya i think Am I right? Seven to nine my time? I think so. I will be lurking for the first bit, sweetheart, because we've got dinner and stuff, but I will join in. I've been so busy today. I'm so sorry. I'm just blending out these edges. So towards the end, just before I pop off, not literally, <laughs> like the Victorians like to think, um, before I pop off, would you post the channel link? So that everyone goes on over that is going over to the next part. Um, so we're just going to blend this out. So it's going to be quite a heavy lay down on that part. It will all coincide, trust me. <laughs> it's the beer. <laughs> oh, I love the dark skin tone set Charlotte it's my favorite out of them I use it um we got to use that very soon on a picture it's probably going to be in nocturnes again but I'll print it onto this paper because this paper's gorgeous I tr right do you want to do you want to see what the paper looks like I bought a huge one by accident but yeah cut it to size okay so we're going to need something quite light bear with me guys let me show you the paper I'm using I've got a huge pad, so just don't laugh. <laughs> I have to cut it to size. Okay, so I bought the Strathmore. Uh, this is a coloured pencil paper, and I bought the wrong size, but it doesn't matter. So this is the paper that I'm using today, and as I can tell you now, the pencils are loving this paper so very much. 
So this is colored pencil Strathmore. You get 30 sheets in a pad and you need the nine by 12. I bought the biggest size, which was, yeah, I just didn't look, but you can cut it anyway. So that is the paper that I'm using and I can tell you it is incredible. I love it as well. I'm loving it. It's the first time I'm using it and what a difference with your pencils. <laughs> Where have I been? Why haven't I used this sooner? So I'm just lightly going with her um, at the moment because I'm going to blend out colours and I'm just uh, playing at the minute with where I want my shading and shadows to go. So this part is going to go into a bit lighter. So as you come away, you can lessen your pressure. As I said, this one is called Merc. Um, it's in the light skin tone set. The thing is, I don't like the light on its own, but mix it in with the dark skin tone sets and you can mix the two together. I wouldn't say individually they're incredible i'd say as a pair they're great <clears throat> yes it's amazing seriously i don't know what i don't know where i've been I, I really don't okay next couple of facts are you ready so number five of like this sheet was walk like an egyptian is the title so in the victorian era people were fascinated by ancient egypt Many historians believe this was down to the parallels that could be drawn from their relationships with death. So the Victorians were obsessed with death, wasn't they? And they were obsessed with the idea of like the dead becoming zombies and Draculas. And they had a really funny, funny, funny vision of death. Well, so did the Egyptians with the mummifying and how they kind of treated the dead when they used to take out the organs and yeah how they wrapped them and buried them in tombs hey Marsha so Egyptian influences can be found in women's mourning jewelry so you know I said to you they wear those rings with this emblem on it right so the Egyptians used to do the same and there was an emblem for death that they used and the Victorians also used it too so that was a really cool fact. I liked that. Um, that was where the unwrapping the, the mummies, you know, all came from and the, the whole, they used to come alive, you know, and the Victorians believed that that would happen too. And yeah, I thought that was a really cool fact. I liked that one. I liked ancient Egypt as well. So, oh, that would be a good one to Cleopatra, wouldn't it? So that was a cool fact. I enjoyed that one. I read that one and I was like, that's actually very fascinating. And then another one was called The Penny Black. And do you know there was a series called The Penny Black and it was from the Victorian era? So the Victorian era has often been described as the golden years, as it was hugely important for innovation. Uh, one of these innovations was the concept of the postage stamp. So that came from that, and that's where the penny black came from. Um, so the first postage stamp came in 1st of May. I have. It was so gothic and gory. I loved it. What did you like it as well? I thought it was brilliant. I did. I watched it. I did. Um, and that was in 1840. So don't forget there was the Edwardian period as well, and there's other periods around that time, but... The Victorian era was a certain um, year to another one. Yeah, it was good. It was good. And I knew this one, but the British royal family origins is actually German. So Queen Victoria's mother was a German princess. So she comes from a lot of German heritage. Um, her mother was a princess in Germany. And she was also brought up by her German governess. Uh, and she only spoke German until she was three years old. So that's quite a cool fact about Queen Victoria. <laughs> so our royal family currently have ancestry of Germans too. So yeah, it's quite a cool fact. Okay, so, I'm, you know, it's not looking like anything at the moment. I'm kind of just blending out the edges.
so itchy. Sorry, I need she arm then. Okay. So I'm just blending out with Merc from the Luminance. And as I said, it's got a tooth, this paper. So you will see a, like a tooth to your work. I'm just going to very lightly introduce this down to here. I don't know how much I'm going to get done today. And I'm not doing this all on stream, guys, because we've got so many other things we've got to wrap up. And as I said, on Tuesday, we're going to be finishing up our Wolf Girl. So I'm going to get, you know, I'm kind of explaining and showing you my methods with this and I'll finish this over the weekend and I'll post it up with this as well so I hope you like that and if you if you've got any crafty stuff in your house so you've got distress inks do one they're so good they're so so good take care Jude thanks for coming hey yeah Alex Mahondra, how are you I was watching you this morning as I said my parents were here so I couldn't be in the keyboard but I was watching your Hannah Lingo is beautiful very, very beautiful. Okay. So, Look Into My Eyes is the next title. Victorians were big advocates of spiritualism and believed in the afterlife, as we probably know by now, because they're obsessed <laughs> with the death. Public events involving hypnosis, a seance and fortune telling were very popular occasions during this era. It was big money for people performing the acts as well, so they earned a really good living. However, unsurprisingly, many professionals were simply very good actors who were just maximising people's gullibility. So they were complete frauds, but the Victorians fed into it and they gave them so much money that that's why the people that probably didn't have much of an education was like, right, this is a perfect way for me to just earn some money. Take care, Starbuck. Thank you so much for coming. I'll see you soon, sweet. Probably tomorrow in Miss Dee Dee's. Okay, so I'm really, really sort of bringing those colours round. It's really working nice, these two together, actually. Okay, big, big thumbs up for me is that the Black Widows on this colour pencil paper is amazing. It's the best paper with them, actually. Okay, I'm going to go to a slight different tone. I'm going to bring in um, light mocha. Um, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of that. This is a little bit more yellow, but I don't want to add a hell of a lot of it. Just a touch, just to bring it in a little bit. And then we'll we'll build up. You know, this is what this whole process is about. I'm not going to rush her skin. I'm going to take my time. And then after, I'm going to watch the next stream when I've done my bits and um, continue working on her. Good morning, Barbara. How are you? Okay. So, with that being said, I, I've got a couple more, but with that being said, what is your most favourite thing about the Victorian era? Mine would be their obsession with <laughs> the, the most, like, gothic side I like the gothic side the Edgar Allan Poe the Dracula the afterlife part not so much photographing the dead no 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 but the gothic side of it their beliefs that Dracula was real and zombies were real and that's probably because I like horrors and I like that sort of thing I think it's pretty cool but what's your favorite thing clothes hair dresses <laughs> Um, another fact, Victoria had to sleep in the same bedroom as a mother and hold a governess hand when she's like, oh, really? That's a good, I like that. <laughs> the houses, the decor and fashion, I, I'm the same. The decor, this type of aged look is so nice. Uh, I'm not sure I'd have it in the house, but I like it to look at. Ballroom dancing. I didn't think of that because they had elaborate dresses as well, didn't they? See, that goes hand in hand with the dresses and stuff. No, do you know, I love that, Pauline. You tell us anything you want. You shout it out at us. I'm back to Merck. You're more, you're more clued up than me. I'm just reading it off Google. <laughs> yeah, I just read that one. I just read it out loud. Uh, um, where are we? Oh, no, I didn't. It's not here again. I think it's being a horrible brat to you. The wax seals on the mailings. Yes. Yes. I love that. 
I love anything I think of their sort of curiosity side their their wacky side um the things I'm not so keen on is the taxidermy and you know the pictures of every single person that died I'm not I'm not keen on that part um that not so much but everything else I'm loving and Queen Victoria wasn't actually named that. She was named Alexa Alexandrina after a godfather. He was Russian. She was a carrier of haemophilia, which is hereditary. Poor woman. She went for a lot. <laughs> but none of her ancestors had it. How crazy. She went for quite a lot in her life then. Okay. So as you can see, I'm keeping like light areas and dark areas. I'm going to come here as well. If anyone sees at some point Laura Rafferty herself, um, let me know because I want to read her the story. I hope she can make it. She's probably busy, bless her heart. She's had a long weekend with us all. So she needs her own time, doesn't she? I said to everyone, you've got lives, guys. you got lives. I appreciate you being here so much. Okay, so can you see we're starting to build up now? I'm going to leave that for a second because I'm going to bring in other colours. I'm just going to blend out. I'm blending out first before I start layering up. You'll see the difference in the skin by the end of it. I'm going to really take my time on her. So you've seen the process of the hair and how they look. It's quite life look. I think it looks a bit more, you know, lifelike than I imagined. I thought that it would look slightly different. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so I'm just blending out all the edges that I've done and knowing, you know, where I'm going to be going with it. So this is the Merc. This is the Black Widows. It's a really nice colour. And she will be in black. And I will post her over the weekend. So Vicky, I'll send it to you, darling, as well. Okay. Next up. Men's clothing, I love the top hat. And I love their writing. Yeah, the quills and the inks. And Inktober should have... That would be great. Who's doing Inktober? Victorian theme would be really good for that, like an Edgar Allan Poe. Um, that would be amazing. Wouldn't it? Who's doing Inktober? Okay. We'll go for Victorian, grey Victorian fat. Oops. Hold on, guys. Hold on. <laughs> okay, you got some that you wouldn't believe. Let's go for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, women were thoroughly hairy. <laughs> I'm just reading that. So women, obviously, we didn't. They didn't shave, but they had such long dresses on. I oh, will see that. Um, so women were thoroughly hairy. <laughs> so in the UK, as you know, we've got in London, we've got the River Thames. Um, I mean, it's quite a dirty place, to be fair. It's not clean water at all. No, Joy, I didn't. And I like him. Um, but in the Victorian era, the uh, sewage levels were really bad I mean they didn't have much control over it at all and it used to go all into the River Thames and quite often they would also dispose of dead pets in the River Thames um so that was a bit oh no and the streets were so 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 bad so as I said with, hold on because Chip's barking just one second guys Andrew's just popping in can you hear him? What? Who's that? One minute. Who's that? <laughs> Desiree. Charlotte, Sammy, should I buy the light set or can I just use the Prisma card? I would just, do you know what? I would buy, I'd not bother. I'd just put my Prismas to it. I'd just put my Prismas to the dark set, honestly. But they go hand in hand, the dark and the light. But if you want to add the light to your collection, but I would just add my Prismas in, Charlotte. Honestly, then get them I love the dark set not the light set but that's just me um that's just me I'm just building up on a light so 
this is quite an interesting fact because as I said to you, the Victorian era, the, the London was filthy. Um, there was something called smog, uh, which was a coal fog that used to completely drown London in the mornings of thick black smoke. And it was all over by the docks and by the coal mines. Now, the women, obviously, because of that, used to dress a lot in black. And they, when they went out on their, you know, their leisurely walks, they would come back with the most obscure things stuck in the ruffles of the bottom of their dress because of the thickness of it. One, they'd be clouded with, like, this really dark soot. And they'd also find um, you know, things like tobacco chewed, straw, mud, scrapes of paper, just street refuse. It could also be the nasty street refuse. Um, just from a short walk in London, they would collect all this at the bottom of their dress. And it was a really filthy occasion. So that quite often they would have a high odour and it wasn't pleasant. So although it looked so pretty, there was a lot of filth around that time, especially in Victorian era London. And it was quite a dirty occasion even to go for your leisurely morning walk so you can know from the workmen and the smog at the docks there was quite a thick influence around that time wasn't there so I was reading all about that as well I know right <laughs> it's horrible so also in the 1860s the women's dresses became so wide that the women would frequently get stuck in the doorways so it started from going a small to a larger to a larger to a larger bottom and they ended up being stuck sometimes because the larger their dresses they couldn't enter or exit because they also had this wire underneath their dresses to just make it stand that you know that wide so that was another fashion yeah there was smog not even my nan's era as well <laughs> And also, you've probably heard this one, but for those of you that haven't, their toothpaste was made from charcoal and honey. So they used to brush their teeth with charcoal and honey formed into a paste. And it was cleaning, it goes to clean teeth with that. It didn't rot your teeth. Um, it rot your teeth in the end, but at first they believed that it would be the cleanest thing for you. <laughs> so they made that into a paste and they used to brush their teeth with coal and honey. But some of you might have already heard that. I think I'd heard that years ago. I think my nan told me that one when she was alive. Um, I'm pretty sure my nan told me that one because she said that they used to use coal when they were children. Mm. The dog-faced boy was one of the most popular attractions in London and Liverpool in the 1870s. Uh, he was a Russian called Fedor, and his father, Andrian, was described as two of the greatest human curiosities of the present age. So, as I said, they were obsessed with that kind of um, freak show, circus, travelling circus, curiosity, oddities. They were obsessed with it. And... He was one of their most popular attractions, both in London and in Liverpool, and he was called the Dog Face Boy. Um, and he just had hair with his uh, father all over his face, bless him. Oh, and they did. <laughs> and boys wore dresses. Mm, mm. Um, can you imagine? That's so, oh, I can't even imagine that. You know, I'm quite hot on that. Um, boys wore dresses until they reached a school age. So quite often in their, you know, baby photos, you would see boys in these very frilly, like, christening gowns. Um, so it's quite, it's quite interesting. Almost 50%, this is quite a grim fact, almost 50% of children died before the age of five because they were in the slums, particularly in some of the parts of London. And they didn't make it to an older age because of that. Um, so that's quite, an, that's quite a sad fact. Okay, let's go for, go for a more peachy look. Okay, so I'm going to go for um, Saffron, uh, which is the Skin Set, Skin Tone Light Set. And I'm just going to add a touch of this. This is a bit more peachy. Um, I'm just going to see what I can do. I've not planned this. I'm just going with what my hands do. <laughs> Yeah, um, Tilly, right, 
just I'm going to trap very quickly because you've all been asking. Okay, so I took Tilly to the vets on Thursday. Um, it's all rest confirmed. She's got a tumor. Hopefully, we think it's benign and it's not cancerous, but it's growing at quite a rapid rate. The downside is that um, she is eight years old, and in birds to go under anaesthetic, even the healthiest of birds, it can sometimes be fatal because their hearts aren't strong enough to take the anaesthetic. So the only time that I will put her under is if it is a matter of life and death or she is so ill and losing a lot of blood. So that's just very sidetracked for those of you that are asking. I've been asked by so many people. She's in good spirit. She's happy. She's not in pain. Um, I've just got to watch her very closely a lot of the time to make her stop biting it. But she's in good spirits, as you can hear. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, she's she's good. She's good. She is good. Um, I'm not going to say she's not. She's happy. She sleeps a lot during the day. Comes alive around the time of night, and she's answering you. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's a tumor. It's a tumor, but it's. I don't think it's um cancerous thank god i think it's they we think it's benign because she's not ill uh, if she was ill it probably would be um but we've got to keep an eye on it because if it grows too much it'll end up bleeding out um and i don't want that you know she's like my best friend so i'll keep an eye on her i do everything i can for her and if the time does come where i have to put her under the knife then it will be with the last resort type of thing um, and not without a lot of consideration put behind yet um, but I knew something was up Just, you know yes girl I hear you I hear you baby girl <laughs> I know okay yes should we do another fact Tilly I don't know if I can get her to show you her because she might be inhaled um I could try, but you've all seen her on the stream. Okay, I'm quite liking how... Oh, I don't like that. She's on there. Let me just erase that part. I didn't like that. I know, right? I know. It's no good, is it? You didn't like it. Nope. You didn't like the bats at all. And um, for all those haters that I've had this few weeks telling me that my bird is really annoying, tough. That is all I have to say about that. Um, I've had so much of it this week, and I'm just like, oh, just, you know, tough, tough, tough. It's her home. Um, right, let's go for another lighter colour into the middle. I think I'm going to go for another. I'm going to go for a Lumi now, guys, because I like the Lumi. Um, okay, 872. And this is going to go over the entire thing. Um, we're going to start to blend out a bit more. And this is just like butter on this paper. And then we're going to build up more and more. But I'm going to have to do some of this off screen. I'm trying to get as much done with you. But as I said, I'm not going to be finishing this with you on stream. This was just for today. Also to give our lovely Laura some more exposure. And to tell you the story that we put on there. Darlene! No, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't care though, you know, tough. And I don't want to bring that to it. So let's just, you know, we'll move on. Next fact. <laughs> Grieving families commission portraits of children's corpses, which is very morbid. So often posted as if they were still alive, they would sit next to their child and they would pose with them to have that on their mantle. Um, so there was people who used to visit morgues and would sketch images of recently deceased children. The post-mortem image would often be only the likeness of the child and it's the only thing that the family would own after that of them because they believed in the afterlife. So that was quite an interesting one as well. Yeah, Laura, as I said, if you want to go into my description, you will get Laura's link um for this image and it is free until tonight so hurry 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 and after that it will be in an etsy store the link is also in the description for that and you can also purchase any of her other art and she's got quite a lot on her etsy store so go support her support laura support her 
go and hop on over, buy one of her PDFs and support her show with some love. I know, right, it's horrible. <laughs> I know some of the facts are really quite grim, um, but they're good, they're good. They're so sad, so sad. Okay. So the penny farthing was also, you know about the penny farthing, right? The penny farthing looked like a large coin, a penny, and a small coin, a farthing, next to each other. So that's how the penny farthing came about. Um, so you know that one, it's got the large wheel, the small wheel, it's really huge. I don't know how the hell they got on top of that. I'd never get on there on a month for Sunday. It's a full straight. <laughs> yeah, oh, I love the London Dungeons. Oh, my goodness. Love it. Are you home now, hon? No, you going? I'm going to the gym and smash some weights. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Say hi. Oh, sorry. Hi, everyone. Yeah. You can't just walk off. Yeah, but you home for a bit or are you going out now? No, just get my energy drink and I'm off. Okay. He's going to the gym. <laughs> smash it. Yeah. That's this thing. Like, my thing is this. He goes to the gym. He loves it. Okay, Queen Victoria was on the throne for nearly 64 years, um, so until she died in 1901. In 2015, Queen Elizabeth beat her record. So Queen Victoria, she reigned a long time, um, you know, and oops, that's a long old time. Okay, so she's getting there. We've got to do more shading on her face, um, like more contrast. But I've kind of got it to where I, I know where I'm going to have my light and dark. So all this middle here is going to – this isn't her, her face. You'll see it at the end result. So I've just got to kind of keep building up, and this paper's allowing me to. Um, so I'm going very slowly. I've got 15 minutes. So next up, you've got your colour – has anyone got the colour up on schedule? Um, so if you haven't, print it out. We've also got tomorrow, Sunday, and we've got a whole jam-packed day of people. With, oh, Francis is here as well. Oh, that's great. And Rebecca. Oh, how amazing. Okay, so we've got a jam-packed schedule tomorrow as well. No, that was Henry VIII's um, wives, I think. So I'm not going to go into anything else by now because we're at the end um, of the stream almost. And as I said, I'll work on this tonight and tomorrow and I'll post it along with the um, description of our Adelaide. Adelaide, I don't know what her name was, but Victoria, uh, Victoria, uh, Laura. Sorry, I'm thinking of Queen Victoria because I was just looking at a fact about her. Um, Laura had given her, but to me, she's now Lady Adelaide. Yeah, he did. He was an arcade. <laughs> it's like that, off with her head. <laughs> oh, my goodness. These people. Can you imagine being married to someone who wants to behead you because they want another wife? <laughs> oh, dear. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That was a Tudor era. I mean, Tudors, uh, yeah, we go back even further there and there's some amazing things on them. Okay, so I'm really liking how her sort of contrast is going and where I've got the shadows and stuff. So I'm going to keep working on her. So I'm going to just very, very quickly do her eyebrows, which are going to be brown. I'm going to bring in, ooh, I'm going to bring in cinnamon. I'm going to quickly do her eyebrow. Bird tricks. I'll have to have a look. Thank you so much. I've enjoyed it so much. Yeah, I know divorce would be a lot easier, wouldn't it, Melissa? <laughs> okay, so there is the eyebrows are very faint here. So just to show myself before I lose them against the pencil, I'm just going to apply them in with the pencil in the direction of the hair like that. I'm going to thicken them up a bit though. So it just gives me an indication of where I want my eyebrows to go. Of course you can. Of course you can. <laughs> I don't know. I have to go back and try this out. <laughs> You're asking me. 
Oh my gosh, right, you should know me by now. <laughs> you used to hold them for me, but of course you can. You've got to try this colour pencil paper. I suggest that to everyone now. Try it. If you're a colour pencil person, I would highly recommend you try this. Okay, so really, really nice. Now I need to just go a little bit deeper. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with mud. Mud? I like this one. KP, you like these pencils. You use them. You should have done one, KP. I, um... Because France is doing one, you should have joined us, right? And I need a tiny bit of black. So this is my black. There we go. Just jump down. Okay. So I'm not going to do her eyebrows or anything. I've still got some layering up to do, but she's going to come out really, really good. Okay. So, guys, I'm going to give you time to go and get yourself a cup of tea or coffee. And I am going to thank you so much for joining me. As I said, please go check out... Laura's page, grab it very quickly. It is going off very sort of very, very shortly. I think 9 p.m. tonight, my time. Um, or her time, I can't remember. But it's going off tonight and you will have to pay for it. So, Joy, well done, and I'm so happy for you for winning the fairy celebrations. I will get back week when I've posted it. As I said, if you've emailed me, you said you emailed me, I'll write it down, I'll put it all up, package it for you, sweetheart. So, and again, if you wanted to know what pencil paper I was working on, oh, it was the Strathmore coloured pencil paper. Get the 9x11 or 9x12. Do not get my size. I've got a huge one. This is by Laura. This is her story. I have enjoyed my time with you so, so much. I will be back on Tuesday and we'll be finishing up this page. I'm going to make it my, my absolute goal. Um, we're going to finish up the wolf gal and we're going to do um, all what entails with that thank you so much I've enjoyed every minute with you I love you all lots thank you I will see you Tuesday and enjoy the rest of the colour if I see you around in them oh you're welcome thank you for joining me thank you for 100 thumbs up guys that's amazing oh you're welcome and if there are can we post, um, I don't know if Beth Ann, bless her heart, but it is the, it's Tonja is next. Tonya, Tonya, so sorry, Tonya, forgive me, Tonya. Tonya Bjornsson Art. That, that's okay, Lottie, we'll see you when you can. Lisa, <laughs> I love your name. Thank you so much. You're welcome, guys. Have a good weekend. I'll see you around in the other streams. Take care for now. Bye. Oh, heaven, that's okay. Bye, darling. See you later. <laughs>